who should and who should not have the right to UK welfare? The question looks set to dominate the next election, with parties already competing to sound tough. Whatever job you're going to do, you need that yeah. basic maths and English, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. At a college in East London, in her first major announcement as Shadow Work and Pension Secretary, Labour's Rachel Reeves revealed her plan to stop some unemployed people getting benefit if they won't study to improve their skills. Under the Labour Party proposal, anyone signing on for job seekers allowance without basic skills in maths, English or IT will be required to go back to college for extra classes. They must pass the exams or be told to do more training. If they refuse training, they lose the benefit. Is the message really here, we're even tougher than the Tories on welfare, is that right? Well, this policy is tough. People have got to take the training that is offered to them, and if they're offered a job, they have to take that job. Um, otherwise, there will be sanctions. But it's also about government doing its part, ensuring people have those skills they need to access jobs. The Department for Work and Pension says job centre staff can already oblige claimants to get basic skills training. Labour's plan, though, would make it standard practice. That is diabolical. <laughs> that is so bad. I think that's good, that it should be like that. Because if you're lazy, you shouldn't really have the opportunity to, to claim benefits. You need to get that skills then, innit? That's why I'm here, innit? To get some skills to further my education. So as Labour announces what it hopes will be seen as a hard but fair policy on welfare, Conservative ministers are also announcing proposals for tougher rules on the benefits that immigrants can claim. Welfare Secretary Ian Duncan-Smith says that from April, new EU migrants will no longer be able to claim housing benefit if they're receiving job seekers allowance. Anybody who wants to come here needs to be coming to look for work and to take work and to make contributions not to come because the benefit system is more generous. However, the European Commission says EU states are not currently obliged to provide housing benefit and after three months jobless migrants can be sent home if they can't support themselves. Both Labour and the Conservatives are terrified of public opinion. We've only, got, we've only got four months to go before the European Parliament elections. Both Labour and the Tories are fearful of losing votes, and one of the issues they're frightened of is public opposition to welfare. The proposals trumpeted by Conservative and Labour today are both criticised as changing very little. But with voters enthusiastic for welfare reform, we can expect many more tough-sounding ideas in the next weeks and months. Mark Easton, BBC News.